If you want to begin to really enjoy a happy... You have to sacrifice something to get something. We want a new car. We want a house. We want an apartment. They want everything, but they don't really want to put in the work. And I got to where I got to by putting in the work. Mm. Um, sacrificing a lot of things. And I knew that eventually that my hard work and dedication would pay off. And I will be at the pinnacle. And no one would stop me from getting, no one would stop me from getting to where I was trying to get to. No one could stop me. I've, I've never really viewed myself as particularly talented. Where I excel is ridiculous, sickening work ethic. You know, while the other guy's sleeping, I'm working. While the other guy's eating, I'm working. Greatness is not this uh, wonderful, esoteric, elusive, uh, God-like feature that only the special among us are, will ever taste. You know, it's something that truly exists in all of us. It's very simple. This is what I believe, and I'm willing to die for it, yeah. period. It's that simple. The separation of talent and skill is one of the, 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 the greatest misunderstood concepts for people who are trying to excel, who have dreams that want to do things. Talent you have naturally. Skill is only developed by hours and hours and hours of beating on your craft. I, I realize that when you, to, to have the level of success that I, I want to have, it's difficult to spread it out and do multiple things. It takes such a desperate, obsessive focus. You really got to focus with all of your fiber and all of your heart and all of your creativity. Let me explain something to you. When you go out and try to do anything outside the norm, and I'm talking anything outside the norm, you are going to be faced with negativity. You are going to have people misunderstand you. And because they misunderstand you and because you are doing something that they don't do, whether they agree with what you do or not is irrelevant. They're just not familiar with it, okay? And what do people do when they don't understand things? They usually attack them. They usually put negativity towards it. They usually project their own insecurities and their own reservations about what it is they are incapable of doing and they put them on you. And so when you start out in business or you start out on a weight loss journey or you start out to be a better person, you are going to face negativity. And I don't give what any of these frou-frou, fluffy guru out there tell you, okay? Everybody likes to pretend this is an ideal place. They like to think that everything's really gonna be nice and it's gonna be easy and it's gonna be this. And I just have a really hard time telling you guys because it's not true. If you can become someone that can transfer negativity into productive action, you are literally unstoppable by outside circumstances and outside elements. The only person that can stop you when you're able to do this is you. And the way you stop you is you can burn yourself down, right? You can get too negative. You can get too hot. You can get too frustrated. So it's something that you need to learn how to pivot on but also control in a productive way. Everybody has dreams. And and and, and as much as you, you, you wanna be able to listen a little bit, cause somebody's gonna give you a gem, but you nobody knows but you. You can't get advice on what you should do with your life, right? Nobody knows what you are. Like even even sometimes you don't really even know what you what you are. You gotta take your shot. And it, it's like as much as you want people to agree and you want the people around you to be supporting your dreams and all, it's not gonna be like that all the time. You gotta do it alone. And people will help you and when you, when you get the ball rolling, people will jump on. But if you don't believe, nobody else is gonna believe. People come along because your belief is so insane. Yeah. Following your dreams is a lonely, solitary, scary, dangerous pursuit. You can't wait for somebody to think you can do it. Mm -hmm. And it's like, they, they, cause they don't think you can do nothing they can't do. Exactly, bingo. Right? You know what I mean? It's like, it, it's a lonely, scary, 
dangerous pursuit and you got to be willing to risk everything to become that seed of what you believe you be is in there. You got to be, be fearless. fearless. You got to be relentless. Life and the way it works and no matter what you want to do, when I say this, you can get mad about it. You can argue with it. You can say it's not true. It doesn't matter. It's no different than gravity. You go take a step off the building, you could say gravity's all you want, but you're going to crack the skull on the ground. And if you think that life doesn't work in a very simple equation, which is what you put in, you will get out. You are going to lose. You know why the results are never there? Because you can think about it. You can wish for it. You can hope for it. You can think all about it all as long as you want. But unless you get out every single day and put in the work inch by inch, inch, you will never get there. I'm not the smartest guy on the earth, not even close. But I figured out one thing, that when you follow the plan as it's supposed to, and you work to build the skills that it takes to actually adhere to the plan, meaning your discipline, your fortitude, your ability to endure, okay? Your grit, your determination, your self-esteem, your self-worth, your confidence that you can achieve what it is you want to achieve, these are all f***ing skill sets. When you learn to develop these skills, even if you don't have the talent, I don't have any talent. You guys all think I have talent because I've been doing for a long time. I do not have any talent. I grew up just like you. But what I learned was when I developed these skills and when I invest in these skills and I continuously sharpen these skills, the ones I'm talking about, I can achieve great things. And if I could achieve great things, and I'm a regular dude who grew up on a fucking gravel road, who was a fat little kid that everybody made fun of, I'm pretty sure you can too. That which you do not hate, you will eventually tolerate. And I think that identifies most people's lives. In other words, they average becomes sort of like this slow asphyxiation. It's almost like an anesthetic and that over time we become kind of immune and dulled to the average that we're becoming. You're gonna get out of your life what you'll accept. That's really difficult for people, I think, to understand is, look, what you think you're worth and what you're gonna tolerate is absolutely what you're gonna bring into your life and what the outward part of your life's gonna look like. And so I live by that. Like, I let myself sort of feel the pain and the difficulty of, of being not where I wanna be in whatever that area is, whether it's my spirituality, my relationships, my money, I let myself feel that pain because as you know, there's two motivators, right? There's the gaining of pleasure, right? Wanting to go get something, chasing the dream, but then there's the avoidance of pain. And for a lot of champions, that's a pretty big driving force for them. And so at least for me, I, I leverage both of those things on me to get myself to take action. So that's what that means to me.